be, you know, like for instance, uh, one conversation that we had was making uh, the spaceship white uh, as a NASA spaceships. Uh, nowadays, they're they're white. They are very minimal, and yeah. that that's a, a conscious decision. It was not an easy one because for a director of photography, white is maybe our worst enemy. So oh, okay. I was stuck for I don't know how many days of shooting a white space, which is something that you don't want to, to do, right? Uh, white doesn't bring you any, but that challenge is very welcome. You know, it's something new and, and then we spend a lot of time testing what type of white, a little bit more blue maybe, or a little bit more red. We tested paintings, we tested types of reflection for us to survive the voyage of shooting the movie in an old <laughs> environment. Yeah. You're, on your, you're on your own voyage. Well, that's so funny that you, you mentioned that because one of the things that really popped to me was, yes, the ship is white. It is, uh, uh, it's very bright and futuristic, space sexy. And then, um, uh, this isn't a spoiler in any, in any regard, but th there is a violent scene and there's blood and we, we see it for the first time. And it is more, so much more jarring to see blood in this perfect space uh, that we've seen, you know, we associate it with peacefulness and, and, and you know, perfection, and then it hits you, and it, I don't, it hit harder than a normal blood scene in a normal movie would. Not that it's, you know, gross or anything, but just the redness of the blood was a quick reminder, and, and I, so I, whatever you guys were doing was, uh, was fantastic. I love that. Was that, you know, how did you approach uh, uh, that particular scene, if, uh, not to get into too many spoilers? Well, but it's interesting what you say because when we were start shooting, we we tried to shoot this movie in, as as much in a chronological order as possible. And uh, when the dailies were coming, and uh, certain producers were worried that it looks too monochromatic, almost as a, as a black and white, that you know, there's no color here. There's no color. Sure. Uh, we were always uh, Neil and I was I was thinking, well, wait up until the blood comes and. You know, things, the colors are going to start popping up uh, one way or another. The fire, the blood, the red light for emergency, you yeah. know, itself will start popping as the story develops. So, yeah, we basically have a, a you know, very monochromatic set, but as you say, certain colors like the blood is, is really a shock, right? It's really a shock for, for the kids and it's, it's a shock for, for, for us that we see blood for the first time. And, yeah. and, and then, you know, because it's, uh, it comes out on over because it's unique. The, the color red is unique within what we've been seeing. It's more, it's more jarring if you want.